Hi and welcome to the main part of the course here. We get started looking at how you can make money on the internet using the micro job sites. Now I am going to be focusing pretty much the whole course around Fiverr.com and that's Fiverr with the double R uh, com. And the reason for this is it's been known for a long time now by a lot of people for ways to make money and also to use for services as well. It's probably the most popular micro job site on the internet. So it makes sense that if you're going to get started, then break your teeth on this particular site. And then you can always move on and research some of the other sites that we'll talk about later in the course if you want to change the ways you make income and perhaps even use some little crafty arbitrage to make a bit more money but we'll talk about that later on in the course so what essentially is fiverr well they call it a micro job site and what that basically means is people will do a gig which is what fiverr likes to call them or a job so if you hear me say gig that's what i mean it's doing a little job for somebody else providing a service or something to other people in return for five bucks. And that's literally the essence of how the site works. You create an account as a seller, you offer different services or a service to people out there, and you promote that through Fiverr, and I'd recommend that you promote it in other places as well. Again, we'll talk about that more later on in the course. And then if people come along and find your gig and that's what they're looking for, they then ask you to do the job for them, and once you've completed it and they're happy, they pay you, and they also give you a vote perhaps as well, thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever, and that all comes in to the play of how you will grow in your scale throughout Fiverr as you develop. Now, the one thing to notice here is, okay, that's how it works in essence, but how do you get paid? Now, in order for you to get paid with Fiverr, you have to have a PayPal account. So when you get up and sign up an account on Fiverr, make sure that you do have PayPal because at the moment, that's the only means for you to get paid. You withdraw the funds if you want to withdraw them and not spend them through Fiverr. You need to withdraw them into your PayPal account. So you have to have a PayPal account in order to use this service. That's number one importance. The other thing is, how much do you get paid? Of course, it says Fiverr.com, so you perhaps think, well, I'll get paid a Fiverr. But you actually don't, and it's something to be in mindful of when you start preparing your gigs and you want to get online offering your services through Fiverr. You're going to end up with somewhere below four bucks actually in your pocket. And the reason for that is the way Fiverr works is they take basically 20% of the income. So for every Fiverr that you charge, they keep one dollar for themselves, which is a very nice piece of work for them. And the other four dollars they place after a holding period into your PayPal account or you they leave it in your account, you can then withdraw it to your PayPal account. Then from there, of course, the fact you're paying money into your PayPal account, you're going to pay fees. And the reason why I say it's sub four and I can't give an exact is because your fees will depend on your standing with PayPal, your account, which country you're in, and all those different other reasons. So be mindful of the fact that when you start offering gigs, services through Fiverr, you're not gonna put five bucks in your pocket, you're gonna put somewhere below $4 for every gig that you do. So you might be thinking, what the heck am I gonna do? Why would I want to get on Fiverr? If all I can make is some $3 something or other, how the heck is that worth me even bothering? Well, the thing is, lots of people have kicked off their businesses through Fiverr and make money for, through Fiverr either as a part-time for a bit of extra cash. They use it to then pay for other services to like barter if you like or trade, so they do some work and then they use that money for other people to do work like traffic perhaps or promotion for their website, or other people have actually launched successful businesses through Fiverr. They actually make a full-time living through Fiverr, and some people have even actually traveled the world because of it. And later on in the course, we're gonna to talk to you about some uh, well-known Fiverr people or people that are very successful on Fiverr, so you can have a look for yourself. The one thing I would recommend as we go through this course is Start looking for yourself. Don't just jump on, create an account, and say, yeah, I can do this, and I'm gonna go and do a Fiverr account right now and start making some money. Take some time to actually go through and do your research. Watch this video course through, obviously, and it will help you to look for the different areas, because sometimes when you first get to Fiverr, because it's so simple where you can see jobs listing, it says how does it work, and it's asking you to connect and sign up. Some people are so quick to just create an account they've actually missed some important steps and some research that they really should have done first. I want to cover that for you in the course as we go through to show you things to look out for, but do spend some time on Fiverr, on the Fiverr blog, and also on the Fiverr forum, which again, a lot of people don't know about. If you look at this front page here, it doesn't jump out at you and say, look, we have a blog, yes, we have a forum, because 
it's not something they promote heavily straight away in your face because their job is obviously to make money and promote people's gigs and then they get a dollar for everyone that's created and taken every day. So that's not their primary goal here, but they do have that option and it's very much worth spending some time reading that because once this course is made and you're watching it, it could be a few days after it's released, it might be a long time after it's released, there's going to be new things happening in Fiverr through the forum and through their blog and I recommend that you read it. And the other thing that's absolutely 100% crucial is please read their terms of service because they do change from time to time and I don't want you getting caught out and having your account closed because then that will just really spoil everything for you. So just a couple of things here just to sweeten the pot for you to let you know this is some research that Fiverr have done themselves from taking surveys and their members and people that run Fiverr and you can actually find this on Fiverr if you scout around this report I think they call it financial freedom and on here it says 36 percent um, of people actually or gigs are more than five dollars so that's something to bear in mind now remember of course for every five dollars five are taking a dollar so remember that as well but 36 percent of all the gigs on fiverr sell for more than five bucks so again don't get in the mindset that all you're going to make is five dollars every time because if you do you're going to very quickly get very fed up and leave so Think about the long term of this. This isn't a short term get rich quick scheme. And if that's what you came here for, I'm sorry, but this isn't for you. This is about building good reputation, offering great customer support and services. And then, yes, you can make money. And I'll show you examples of that as we go through. And then 14 percent of people use Fiverr as their primary income source. Now, that's quite a nice little marketing gimmick because that doesn't necessarily tell you how much that is. Now, it might be their primary income source, but they might only be making $50 a week. So, you know, it might not be a lot of money. It just might be that some people don't earn money anywhere else and it is their primary source of income, albeit only 200 bucks a month. But if that's what you're looking for, an extra 100, 200 a month, great for you. Get started on Fiverr, you can do that. But let me explain here that you can earn more money if you want to. You've just got to have the right mindset Forget about all the guru books that you might have read or some of the forums telling you that it doesn't work, you can't possibly do it. Believe me, that is possible through Fiverr if you apply yourself in the right mindset and do things in the right way and actually plan and scale your business in the right way. If you offer a service which takes you an hour to do every single time from start to finish and you're only charging a Fiverr for it, yes, then you are not going to ever get rich or make good money because you're essentially earning $3.70 an hour roughly, for example, or three seventy-five, or whatever the net is, for doing one hour's work. So let's face it, you can get more working in McDonald's, so you're probably better off doing that. And of course, you just want to sit at home. You don't want to work at McDonald's. You don't actually mind walking along um, the canal with the monkey suit on, waving a banner for people, and it takes you an hour there and back plus the bus fare. If you like doing that, that's fine. But realize that you can make money through Fiverr if you want to. Just to bring this to your attention, I mentioned it a minute ago, Fiverr's Terms of Service, please read them. This last update was done a little while ago, October the 15th, so early on in the year. But again, you know, as we move on and this video gets older, these terms may well change. Please make sure you come along and before you even create an account, just read through. Now, the reason why I say that is they give you a condensed version here explaining about how it works. They talk to you about the basics for sellers, the statuses, the levels, we'll come back to this later, about top rated sellers, etc. How to handle orders, staying out of trouble, this, please read, this is, is essential. If you go contacting customer support and saying, why did you ban or close or suspend my account, and you see any of these things on this screen that you've done, that's probably a good reason to start off with you've probably been banned for. So make sure you're aware of their staying out of trouble. They are notoriously harsh on people and have been known to drop people's level statuses a long way down from a top rated seller back to a, a zero or a one or, you know, giving them some stick or even withheld money for some serious periods of time while they investigate stuff. So just don't do it. Stay out of trouble. Make sure you're running a, a slick business, good customer support, good delivery, and you won't have to worry about any of these issues. Talks about working delivery and also withdrawing your revenue. And then again about buyers shipping if you're using physical products. Uh, this is something I'm not going to cover in this course. By all means, feel free if that's what you want to do. They do allow you to charge shipping, etc. But at the end of the day, you know, unless it's a stellar product and that you can produce it for that kind of money and it's it's going to good, create good revenue for you, 
you know, it's up to you. But in this course, I'm going to focus more on actual the digital delivery side of things. The general terms of, of, of Fiverr's, and it says here, look, it may get your account permanently blocked. So keep this in mind. It talks to you about withdrawing money. It talks to you about disputes. And then the illegal stuff, ownership, limitations, etc. So just make yourself familiar with the Fiverr's terms of service before you dive in and create an account. And then that way, uh, you'll make sure you're on the right side of Fiverr. Here we go again, Fiverr, the official Fiverr forum. Um, it's still growing. It's quite a young forum that they've created, but it is here now. It's been here for 2012, and it's getting more and more people actually participating. So it's a good thing to read. There's tips for sellers, tips for buyers, Fiverr stories, just basic chat, uh, the gigs, uh, the ranting pot, news, and a suggestion box. So, you know, participate. And again, one thing they're saying more and more, one of the things they look at to making you a top-rated seller on, on Fiverr is not just the gigs and the status or the rating that you're getting and your customer support and delivery times. They also look at how you participate within the community. So be a participant in the community. Do bits. Give people value. If you learn something that's important, share it on the forum with others so that others can read it because the Fiverr team, when they do come to the stage of selecting top-rated sellers, this is a manual process at this point. And they will look at your whole participation in the site. So it's worthwhile taking part. And then there's the Fiverr directory. So when you're starting about getting started, you know, setting yourself apart, getting going, we'll talk about that in the next video. But go to the Fiverr gigs directory and see what's already here. You know, there's listings, they've broken them down more further now. There's GIFs, graphics and design, video and animation, marketing, translation and writing, advertising, business programming, music and audio, fun and bizarre and lifestyle. There's lots of categories and then subcategories to start looking through and see what other people are doing. And then just to show you where I found all this stuff, if you go to Fiverr's uh, main home page and you scroll right the way down, you'll see at the bottom here, you can follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Pinterest, etc. Then there's the Fiverr directory. That's where you can see all the topics we talked about a minute ago, the different um, places or the different types of gigs that are available. Here you can read their all important terms of service. Down here, you've got the levels. We're going to talk about that um, in, a, in, a, in a later video, a bit later on. Contacting customer support, the Fiverr blog and the Fiverr forum, these two here, very much worth looking at. So make yourself familiar with all this and have a good read. And that's it for the intro video. I'll see you in the next video.